Hey everyone, Michael here for Shutterstock, and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the new 120 free light overlays from Shutterstock. Now, if you haven't downloaded these free overlays already, I'll put a link in the description below. Go grab these from the Shutterstock blog. They're PNG files, transparency is already included, so all you have to do is drag and drop these into your photos, and they're ready to use. These were all organically captured, as in literally we, we took photos of these like right, right here. I'll show you right over there in the studio. I know it's a mess, but you know, that's, that's movie magic. Just ignore that. So we're going to use these free elements and I'm going to show you how easy it is to personalize and customize any photo within Photoshop and other image editing applications. Let's get started. So after you download the assets, you're going to get a zip folder. So just go ahead and open that up and then you'll have this new folder. It has all 120 overlays inside. I mean, you can preview any if you want to, uh, I know it doesn't look like much right now, but it's not supposed to. So let's dive in. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is use these in Photoshop. So if you have Photoshop, open up any photo you have. This could be a personal photo. This could be one that you buy from Shutterstock. Go find a photo. This is actually a Shutterstock photo. I downloaded it before I started. What I'm going to show you is how we're going to bring these light elements into your project. So in this case, let's hop back into our folder. And what's nice is you can kind of scroll through, you get a preview of all of these, kind of get a feel for, you know, whichever one you think might look good. Uh, maybe something like this. Let's see, preview that. It's kind of cool. It's got the little, you know, gold around the sides. Let's bring that in. So I'm gonna drag this into the project and I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command T and then hit the Shift button. And what that's gonna do is gonna allow me to scale it in uniform size. So you just grab those corners, enter. And now we'll use the move tool and just kind of like bring this over a little bit. And what you're gonna wanna do to make it look even better is change the blend modes here on the side. So if I change this to say screen, you'll see how it just kind of lightens up and blends more into the photo. It looks a lot better than just leaving it in normal. Uh, so that's a good first one. Let's see about adding another one of these. Uh, how about bring that one in? Do the exact same thing, Command T, hold down Shift. You can keep scaling that guy up. Let's just kind of bring it down a little bit. And once again, we're gonna change the blend mode. Let's do uh, add on this guy. So now you get this nice pop right here on the side. It's really kind of lightened it up. If you want to see the difference, just kind of hide this. There you go. So this is our before. This is with the light element on. And let's just do one more while we're at it. Let's see here. How about this one? This one's kind of got like these good little elements here. So what's cool about these is I can bring these in. We'll go ahead and scale these. Let's make these a lot bigger. And what we can do is put these circle elements wherever we want. So if I kind of zoom out a little bit, what I'm going to do is rotate this because I, I kind of want to put these over here in this top. So you can use this transform rotate tool. You can kind of, you know, let's just say rotate 180. And now we'll just kind of grab those, maybe move them off to the side. That looks pretty cool. Uh, now you might see this little line because it's the edge of the photo, but you'll remember that we're in normal mode. So let's change this to screen. And now you see that's nice and gone. And we can kind of just kind of tweak this a little bit. Maybe we want to move it over her face. Maybe you want to put it over here. But you can move these elements all over the place, customize the photo. Now, if you don't remember what this looked like to begin, I'm just going to duplicate this layer. Let's bring it up top. And this is our before. This is our after. So it's a really simple way just to add a custom look to any of your photos. You can really customize them to do whatever you want. So. Let's try another photo. So let's go ahead and open a new project. And I wanna try something different. So instead of a portrait, let's do something like uh, maybe you're building an ad for your coffee shop. So let's do this. Uh, if you don't know this already, Shutterstock has an Adobe Creative Cloud plugin. So you can actually search for Shutterstock images without ever leaving the app. So what all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna look for a coffee shop photo. Let's do a search for that. And what's gonna happen is whenever I find the photo I want, let's do this one, you can click on it uh, and it'll insert a preview into your project. So you can kind of play with these before you commit to purchasing any photo. So let's bring this one in. And we're gonna go ahead and scale this up. So once again, Command T to hit the transform tool. And let's just scale this up and then kind of 
frame it to where we want to be. Let's maybe kind of bump her over here. That looks pretty good. Now, if you're freaking out because there's a watermark right here in the middle of our canvas, don't worry. Because what's nice is if we end up liking the look of this, we can just license the image and all the adjustments we've made are going to be automatically applied. So let's go hop in here. Let's find one um, and we'll grab this one's kind of cool. Let's bring this one in here. We're going to do the same thing. Command T for transform. Hold down shift for scale. And then we'll just move these elements around. You know, maybe we kind of want it over here. And then we'll go back and we'll change our blend mode. Let's do screen again. Mm, that's all right. Maybe we could try add. Yeah, that's cool. Now we have this nice little soft pop over here on this table. And let's find a couple more elements to throw in here. Let's see here. This one's cool. Uh, it's got a lot of these little gold circles on the side. So let's throw these on this side of the image. So I'm going to bring that one in. Same thing. Command T. Scale that guy up. And then let's kind of move these up just a little bit. Maybe we kind of want them over here. Yeah, something like that. So let's hit that mode. Let's do screen for these. Oh, yeah. Now you have like this nice little sunlit look in the trees. It feels a little off balance because we have so much going on on the left side, but there's not much going down here. But if you remember this one, this one's just down here in this corner and it doesn't feel like it's doing much anymore. But what if we just put it over here? So what I'm going to do is go back to this element, command T for transform, and you can right click on this. And I just want to flip it horizontally. So if I do that, it's a little too powerful. So if you, you look at our arm, it's a little weird. Uh, so what we can do is actually drop down the opacity. So if we bring this down, it's going to be much softer. And you know what? Let's lower the fill while we're at it. Let's drop it a bit. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a preview before, after. Yeah, that's kind of really softened it up. Let's just throw one more on there because we're feeling crazy today. They're free. You can use as many as you want. So let's scale that guy up, bring it down a little bit. So now we're just going to rotate it 180, get it up in this corner. Oh, look at that. So now it actually looks like more organic sunlight. And we'll change the mode. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So this is our image now. This is our image after. That looks pretty cool. All right, so like I said earlier, you have the watermark image in here. So if we just go back to the plugin, let's just license this image. I'll put a link to this as well so you can download the Shutterstock plugin. Use your Shutterstock account, log in, pick your plan, and then let's just do a large photo. So now it's gonna do all the magic behind the scenes while it's gonna license the image, but you're gonna see it here in a second. It's gonna replace everything in here. There we go. Finished. Let's just group these real quick. Uh, we'll call it overlays. So here's our new image. Licensed, clean, ready to go, customize. That's all it takes. All right. Easy enough, right? So let's do one more example. Let's say you don't have Photoshop. You don't have a Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. You can still use these elements in like any other image editor. And if you don't know this already, there's actually one on the Shutterstock website. So if you go to shutterstock.com, you're going to see an editor tab up here. And this is actually a free tool that you can use. You can edit Shutterstock images. You can edit your own images. You can upload assets. And it works just the same in Photoshop. So where I'll be able to drag these elements right into my canvas and customize the photo. So when you first open editor, you're going to have a bunch of different canvas sizes you can choose from. You could do a custom one, but let's just say we're going to do an Instagram post. So if I select this, that's going to automatically create a 1080 by 1080 canvas for me. And just like the Shutterstock plugin we were talking about, I can actually just hit this little search tool and look for whatever we want. And someone who might really enjoy using these assets is a wedding photographer. So maybe you're shooting an engagement photo session or a wedding. So let's do a search for a wedding. And we'll hop over to photo and let's just kind of scroll through these real quick. That'll work. Hit replace background. And we're going to bring this into our canvas. We'll just go ahead and hide this right now. And let's zoom out just a little bit so you can see. So you can move the image around if you want to in the canvas. Let's just put it maybe right there. That'll look pretty good on Instagram. And you have these tools down here. So we can just hit preview mode and we'll go ahead and turn the ruler on as well. And now you can kind of see what your image is going to look like. So let's go back to our elements. 
Let's kind of scrub through and see one more example that we want to try. We're just going to drag and drop this into our project. And it's going to go ahead and upload here. And it'll save these so you can use them whenever you need them. So let's close this menu real quick. And all I'm going to do here is just, once again, scale up like we've been doing. And we'll move it around just like we have been. And once you click off, you kind of see that that's our, that's our look. It's a little harsh. So if we want to change it, you can add filters here. But all I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down to these options, go down to opacity. And I'm just going to bring it about maybe 50%, 54%. That sounds pretty good. And preview that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. So there you go. Now you can use these assets in any other program, just like the plugin. We're just going to hit download. It's going to do all the magic for us. We'll license, we'll download. It's going to remove all the watermarks. All right, there we go. Hit OK, and let's open up our download, and there you have it. Simple, easy to use, overlays, light elements for any of your projects. Go download these, give them a test. We'd love to see how you use them. 120 free elements for you to use in any of your projects. Go download them now. Like I said, a link will be in the description below. Go grab these assets. Be sure to give us a like, a subscribe, follow us for more freebies and tutorials, and we'll see you next time in another Shutterstock tutorial. See ya!